This step's going to be quite a quick one then. We're just going to look at changing the color of textures. So here you can see I've got my landscape material texture here that's got the stretching going on. We can't do much about that. And we've got the cliff texture here as well. And th there's a bit of contrast here. We can see they don't blend very well. So we need to look at what we can do to get those colors to match a little bit more closely. What we need to do then is find that texture. So the easiest way to do that is actually to go into our landscape material. So let's just open that back up. We'll find that particular texture. Here it is. Click on it and then we can just click on it here. And that's going to open up the texture editor and then we can see what the texture is and we can change some things about it. For instance, we can change the brightness so we can make it oh, hang on, like that. We can make it less bright, but let's just put that back. We can increase the saturation, make it look really colorful amongst other things. Now I've actually done this already. So what I'm going to do is just show you this changing. So here it is here and I've got written down what I want to change it to. So I'm going to change the saturation to 0 0.75. And you see that now it doesn't jump out quite as much. I'm also going to change the brightness to 0 0.4, which is that top one there. And you see that now is blending in a lot better than it was previously. And that's all I'm going to do for this step. You can change lots of other things. You could change the hue, so you could make it a completely different color. It's worth experimenting with if you want to try and get a result out of that, uh, amongst other things. But all you need to remember to do is save that when you're done. Okay, in the next step, we're going to look at fixing the collisions because at the moment, the collisions that we've got on these cliffs don't really match up. And so that can create a little bit of jankiness that we don't want. So I will see you in the next step for collision fixing. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.